<laughs> rah, rah, more Undertale! Hi, hi, chat, how are we doing tonight? I am so excited. I promise, I promise I'm going to get me VOD, me VOD. I'm going to get my VOD up for part two <laughs> soon. Sleepy! Oh, big mood. I was so eepy today. I did garden work for the first time in a while. And boy, oh boy, was I dead after like five minutes. <laughs> but I fed my potatoes and I sprayed for bugs. And that's what's most important. <laughs> and I finally, we finally get to escape from the snow day town. The, from the Snowden. Yard work is so hard. Yard work is so hard. Listen, I love my plants, but I don't like taking care of them. <laughs> My plants will feed me eventually, but I don't want to have to water them every day. That Like, that's such a pain. Why can't it just rain on a regular basis? You know what I mean? Don't even get me started on mowing. I've just, I've given up. I'm not mowing. I refuse. I refuse to mow the lawn. I weed the garden and water the plants, and that's as much as you can make me do. Having a lazy day because I had to deal with paperwork for my new job. Ooh, paperwork is awful, but congrats on the new job! Congratulations! You earned that lazy day, my friend. I also had to do paperwork for my job yesterday. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Taxes! <laughs> and why are we always worrying about taxes? You just can't escape them! It's my first one ever. Ooh, um, good luck. <laughs> first jobs are always anxiety inducing, but you know, I hope it like goes smoothly for you. You know what I mean? My first job was very quiet. And I think I was quite lucky in that respect. Okay, uh, it is five minutes past. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the game! Let's go! <laughs> I have a friend who's working there, so it shouldn't be horrible. Oh, good! It's always good to work with friends. Alrighty. Let's continue! Yeah! Okay. And I've just saved. So I guess now I can leave Snowden? Unless, let me go back up. I wanna, I don't remember what, there's like nothing at the top, right? But maybe there's something at the top now? I can't remember if I checked up here or not last time. There's Monsieur Mustache. And the ice. Hello, Mr. Iceman. You're just a werewolf with lots of ice. And then this is totally empty. Okay. So I guess I get to leave. I get to go. Finally, they let me out. Gosh. God, the silence. No, are you kidding me? I don't want to have to fight Papyrus again. Oh, I don't have to fight Papyrus. It's just, it's all quiet. Okay. What silly random events you get? What? Huh. It's weird. What are these? Oh, hello! Hello, small child. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up! Hey! Don't tell my parents I'm here! <laughs> Okay, little edgelord child. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo. Oh, fuck off. Hello, Zach. There's a thing called a fun value that is randomly assigned every time you play. Different events happen on certain numbers. Ooh, interesting. So I have to. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Save. Hello, Snans. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. 
Um, I guess. I'm going to grill these. Wanna come? Sure. Managed to have the same fun value with my favorite Seiyu who lets play this game. Nice! Well, if you insist, I'll prime myself away from my work. Over here! I know a shortcut. Okay. Fast shortcut, huh? Yeah, real fast! Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy! Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> what? The fucking rim shot! Why is that funny? Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Did you do that? Sans, did you do that? Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or a burger? Ooh. I kind of feel like fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of fries. Nice. I've been craving fries for a while. So, what do you think? Of my brother. Uh, am I honest or do I say nice things? Let's say nice things. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes- Jesus Christ- Oh no. Oh no, I just thought about papyrus stench. Oh god. No. <laughs> that- just like the thought of that burned itself into my olfactory system. Jesus. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Oh no! No! <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah, give me some ketchup. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. You're pranking me, Snans. This is this is just like an elaborate prank. Or an elaborate series of pranks. Counterpoint, he's a skeleton, therefore no sweat glands. Eh, uh, I guess. He'll still get dirty, though. Like, just like walking around outside. I'm not hungry anyway. Why are you scratching your butt, Snans? Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. I like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. He rubs that weird stuff behind his ears all the time. Yeah, that too. That'll all build up. That'll be like... If you ever read Diary of a Wimpy Kid in one of the books, that's a sentence and a half. Uh, in one of the books, he like tears off all those... Uh, ch -ch 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 perfume samples that you get from magazines and put them all in one jar. I've always wanted to try doing that just to see what it would smell like. One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> Jesus. The next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. I know a YouTuber does that kind of shit for a living. Zach, please send that to me. I need to see it. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh. Oh yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Ominous music deletion. Have you ever heard of us talking flower? Oh no, here we go. She made a Franken candle of scented candles and burned it at her wedding. <laughs> I have heard of a talking flower. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, 
the flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? I'm suspicious. I am suspicious. What is your angle, Snans? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. And the music resumes. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just... I can't do that. Just kidding. Roby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Thanks. Grilbus said that your food is probably cold by now. Aw, man, I can't eat it. I didn't even get to eat my fries! No! Why am I studying French voo voo? Like, uh. Vous vous. Brossez les dents or something like that? Why are you, uh. doing the, uh. Recursive verbs. Are you doing the recursive verbs? Is that what's happening? Let's see, this is probably shorter if I just go through the igloo. Hey, Snans, where is your shortcut? I don't even know what that means. Uh, so when you, in French, when you write about or sit, talk about brushing your teeth, it's se brosser les dents. So you brush your own teeth, basically. Se is like yourself. It's an indicator of yourself. So when you say that about other people, you have to use the same recursiveness. Let's hang out again sometime. And so if you're talking to like a group of people, French lessons from the slime, yes. <laughs> if you're talking to a group of people about Brushing your brushing their teeth, you would say vous vous brossez les dents, vous vous brossez vos dents, probably actually. Why are there rocks? This is a box. You can put an item or take an item out. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. <laughs> I think I'm good on uh putting things in the box or not. Um, how do I how do I get across? I think I'll just- I'll just go this away. Oh, hello. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Hmm. Oh no! Okay, so I have to dodge them all. So is it like since you're talking about their feelings, it's more like you're you're talking about their like themselves. I don't know. There's weird rules about recursiveness. Uh, why am I in shadow? Why is there suddenly light direction? <gasps> huh? Okay. How did I? <laughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report! Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I- did I fight them? Y yes of course I did! I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? Well... No. I tried very hard on Dine, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne! You don't, you don't have to destroy them. You see. You see. This music is so ominous. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Human. <gasps> Fuck. Fuck. No, leave me alone. 
Go away! No, go away! If I understand something about French grammar, by the time school starts again, my French teacher shall be proud. Wait, what sound did I make? I didn't notice. I was just reacting. Okay. That small child was there the whole fucking time! Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh my god, the way he fucking face plants. Weird child. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Save. Ooh, Kiskasadila. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Oh, good. Okay, so I can just grab them. Haha! -ha! The cute plants do make like insanely cute noises. Oh, hoopst. Aaron! Hello! How you doing? Aaron, attack 24, defense 12. The seahorse has a lot of HP. Horsepower. <laughs> all of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Okay. Check all you want. Ow. Aaron is sweating bullets. Literally. <laughs> What happens if I flex at him? You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Okay. You clipped it. Thank you, Zach. I look forward to hearing what came out of my mouth. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Ugh. Okay. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Okay, hey, Aaron. I just gotta not get hit. This could actually kill me. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Aaron, I'm flexing for you. Flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> you won. <laughs> Fool jingles miserably across the floor. How the heck am I supposed to read that? Hello? Love this game. Yeah, me too, man. Okay. So, I see. If an error is made, then the bell blossom can call the bridge seeds back to the where they started. Okay? Cool. I want to read whatever the fuck is going on over here. Why is this music so ominous? What the fuck? What's happening over here? Hello, Undertale. Guys. What is this? Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. <laughs> I hate this game. I hate this game. Thanks. Great. Hate this game. Toby Fox is such a jerk. He really is. Why for art thou mean as fuck? Oh, there needs to be four in a row. I see. Okay. I 
see, I see. I thought you liked puzzles. I like puzzles when they're not mean to me. Read that the papyrus is not existent voice. No. So they all have to be in a row, huh? Maybe I can do it this way? One, two, three, four, no, hmm. I see. Can grab some more. When Forbridge sees a line in the water, they will sprout. You have to align in the water. I see. Hmm. I think I have to get some other ones over. Let me see if I can just bring some over. Oh! Washua! Washua? Washua. Hello, Washua. What's up? Washua. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Out darn spot! Ah! No! How? Washu was rinsing off a pizza. Hmm. Said, I, there's one friend who sends me ominous texts, and I got one that was like, you better not step foot in insert local pizza place. <laughs> What's wrong with the local pizza place? You ask Washua to clean you, it hops around excitedly. Ah! Green means clean! Oh my god. No. Ow. Washa was friends with a little bird. <gasps> oh! Green means clean. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Fuck. You may want to heal. Whoops. Well, it's too late. Too fucking late for that. Okay. Listen, you have to learn this about me. I don't use fucking items, okay? Unfortunately, Akari and I are cut from the same mold. Neither of us use items. We're like, we're gonna get here! We're gonna get there on our own power. Hey, Aaron. Uh, you know what? No, I will... I'll flex at you. At least I save. that's true! God, Akari is so bad for that, isn't she? What the fuck? Whoa! <laughs> On the pizza place, apparently their sauce is kept marinating with meatballs. Ooh, that's not good. That's really bad, yeah. Find a different pizza place, I guess. Bye, Aaron. Have fun at the gym. I went 20 gold. Okay. So I think the way you're supposed to do this is do like a line. Check the food code policies to see where you live to see if that's illegal. It's illegal in some U.S. states. Yeah, that's true. I didn't get anything with the sauce. Yeah, I, I like Zach said, it depends on where you live. 
I don't know if you're US based or not. Um Oh, I can't bring them over. Damn. Okay, so I have to do it with the ones that we have here. And they all go across like that. I see. Hmm. And they all have to line up. Okay. Can't. In terms of allergies, it could be very well illegal. That's also true. Some people are allergic to red meat. And that is just an unfortunate fact of life. Okay, let's put you there. You... There. Yeah, they all just, like, go... That's not gonna work, is it? Yeah, it's not. What? If an error is made, the bell blossom can call the bridge seeds back to where they started. Huh. Ding. Hey, I'm a troller! Interesting username you got there. Worked at McDonald's and we had to dedicate it for fire for fish. Yeah, exactly. Cross-contamination is like, it's fucking important. Or rather, not important, but important to avoid. Hmm. Just to be sure. It really is just like... Yeah. Hmm. Love Undertale is a fun game. Yeah, I am having a stumped time here. Am I meant to go anywhere else? Oh. Hey, Washua. Pacifist? Yeah, doing pacifist run. I should I should note that actually in my in my thing. Uh, one moment. Un momento. Hello. Hello, come here. Where is the text? Is this the text? Here it is. Fucking... <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I can just... I'll just... Scooch that... Over. There we go. I... Want to do Geno at some point. I, I definitely want to do Geno. I want to do, like, that mixed one. I know that there's a mixed one. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Okay, Washua. Uh, so I just have to hit one of the green ones. Yes! Smells like detergent. <gasps> nice! I can spare him. Goodbye, Washua. Neutral? It's just called neutral. Hmm. Literally, you can get it by just killing anyone once. Different endings depending on what bosses you kill. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So 
some reason I want to turn all of these off. Get off. Get turned. Okay. It needs to be in a straight line, though. And it needs to be all four of them. Is this your first time playing it? Yes, it is. I've never played this game before. I've seen, like, a long time ago, I saw some playthroughs. Like, a long, long time ago, I saw some playthroughs. Yeah, it needs to be all four. Damn. How in the heck am I meant to do this? Because they all just go to the other side. Ferris slime brain like the squeak noise or the familiar darkness. <laughs> hmm. I'm in for fun. I mean, I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm just stumped. Uh... Temptation to clip the mushrooms. <laughs> Do it. Listen, whatever clips you want to make, go for it. This is a open clips channel. You can do whatever the fuck you want. So I fail the thing if I go down that way. How in the heck am I meant to get across here? This feels like a trick. This feels like incorrect. Chat, don't tell me the answer, but am I... Yeah, I'm sure there's a solution, but am I, like, missing a piece of information? Or do I have all the information available to me? Like, have I seen everything? Oh! <gasps> Mold smells! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Goodbye! Don't try the bridge. The plants can float in all directions. Okay. There's a few paths to take, even a few Easter eggs. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now I understand. Now I can do this. Okay, mister. One. Two. Three. Four. I thought they only- I, th I thought the water went in one direction. I thought the water was moving it. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours! Holy shit! That's a little scary. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? What will you say? I don't think I am wearing a bandana. So you aren't wearing a bandana. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Click. Oh yeah, that's totally sus. I know he's ratting me out to Undyne. I don't think I'm wearing a bandana, am I? Oh fuck, I am wearing a bandana. Shit. Sorry, Snans. Wishing room. Ooh. A 
long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Oh, so those aren't even real stars. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Oh, close. Mold smalls. Goodbye. You saved yourself by pure luck? <laughs> oh no. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Aww. Hello, can I look through the telescope? Yes. Check wall. Check wall, okay. Which part of the wall? Wishing room. The waterfall lore bits. Interesting. Ah, uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Okay. Oh, this is the wall. Ooh, hello! Nice, I've got like a nice long pier. It just goes down to the water. Ancient writing covers the, covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist even outside of the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There is something very unsettling about this drawing. Oh, hello. We will have to run. Oh, shit. Hello! I'm running! Good fucking bye! Oh shit! Yeah, no spoilers, please. Oh shit! Ow! Shit, 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 shit. Zach! Enough about the items! Oh my god, it's the fucking small child! The small edgelord child! Oh. My free. I free? Oh, yay, yay. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. You were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Monster Kid is his name? Okay. I will do my best to remember that. I'm so bad with the names, though. Oh, hello, weird little thing in a jar. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Gosh, I hope that mouse gets the cheese. Hi, Mr. Mouse. Squeak. 
Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the magical crystal, it fills you with determination. Oh, hello, Snans. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yes, please. Why is it all red? Hello? I'm sitting next to my doggo. Ooh, what's the doggo's name? Is it a good doggo? Why is it all red? Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Thanks, Snans. Use the box. Uh, no. Hello. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? That's very threatening. Oh my god. My f- Ah, oh, Snans! What's up here, then? The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution! Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They are sure to get the customers to come back. Nice creams, the frozen treat, da, 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 now just 25G. I mean, I've got. Wait. And your cards at the bottom. You got the nice cream. Nice. One card. Take a card? Yes. Nice. Info. Punch card. Battle item. Used to make punching attacks stronger in one battle. He's outside of battle to look at the card. <laughs> I guess. Doggo's name is Coco! Oh, what a good name. Ooh. What's down here? This is real pretty. I like this place. You hear a passing conversation. So? Don't you have any wishes to make? And the ice cream punch card is used for like 99% of the glitches. Interesting. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Oh! Washua and Aaron appear. Oh, good lord. This is gonna kill me, isn't it? Wait, hang on. Clean me, Washua. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Clean me, Washua. Okay. Shoot. Ah. I have to run away. <laughs> Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human! Papyrus would never betray you! You said you were not wearing a bandana! So, of course, I actually told her you were indeed wearing a bandana. Fuck! Papyrus! It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a bandana, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowie! This is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. I'm sorry, Papyrus. Let's see, where is the other... Fleur? Hello? It's a pair of ballet shoes. 
Will you take it? Yes. You got the ballet shoes. Item. Ballet shoes info. Weapon. Ugh. Oh, Coco and Toshi. They sound really cute. There is a box. Is there a box around here? There is a box. Used box? Yes. Um, punch card and ballet shoes. Oh, hello, Mr. Duck. Hello. Here's a little duck. Okay. Coco's a girl and Toshi is a boy. Aww. Got a doggo, but she's a mutt. She's a she's a big hound. Aaron. Hey Aaron. I'm gonna fucking run away. <laughs> Actually, hang on. Is there a Save point anywhere around. I don't like doubling back, but I want a save point. <laughs> Hello, save point, please. Save point blocks. There we go. There we go. Brought the world word for shower in French, it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> music in this section and then you like you get down here and it's intensely like ominous like I love this area of the map I love like these colors hey mold small you have a good day mold small Always listen to the dog song. Yes, very good. Oh, hello. I hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Ooh, I really want to know what this person's, like, wish is. Washua! Clean me, Washua. Clean means clean, it sure does. Ow. Gotcha. Wonders if tears are sanitary. <laughs> oh, hello. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh god, so we're getting like several stories at once, I see. Hello? Hi. Hello. Oh, your face. Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? Hi. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium. You know what, that's fair. Like all my friends did. I'm so sorry, Onion Sun. And the aquarium's full a anyway, so even if I wanted to, I. That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! 
Hi, Onion San. <gasps> Oi. Oh, that spooked me. Shiren! Hey, Shiren. Tone deaf, she's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Aww. Hum hum. Oh, <laughs> smells like music. What if I conduct her? You wave your arms wildly that you are now vulnerable to electric attacks. What? Is she gonna zap me? Ow! How did that happen? Shiren thinks about doing karaoke by herself. Smile. Yes, see Shiren smile too. Shiren gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Uh... Hmm... Maybe I do need to haunt at her. No! Oh my god, it follows me. Let's hum. Oh! Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, sweet Jesus. That almost got me. Goodbye, Shiren! Hey, Lou! Speaking of dogs. One momento. Miss Ma'am, what on earth do you think you're doing in here? Ouch! Ouch! Silly dog. He's breaking into my room. Silly, silly, silly. The northern room hides a great treasure. Hmm. The dog is rude to me. The piano! Play it? Yes. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. How do I play the piano? Cross buns, goodbye. <laughs> a haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Oh, hang on. The first eight. No, I don't know. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. And there's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. 
The boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. Only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Hmm. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Who is this? Hmm. I don't trust that. Please take one. Umbrelli! Umbrelli! Take one. You took an umbrella. Nice. Oh! I wish- can I get a different color? Oh, cute! Doo -ba -doo. Yo! You get an umbrella? Awesome! Great. Let's go! Weird child. <sighs> Weird edgy children. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. I was human. I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> All right, kiddo. E Kid's not even under the umbrella. Kid's just like, so, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer. Oh, I see someone's playing Puyo Puyo Tetris. Let me out. Volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. I don't think, I don't think that's what I'm talking uh, I mean, technically she could. I don't know if... They would do that sometimes. Oh, thank you, Death. That's so sweet. Hey, kid, do you want to actually get under the, the real umbrella? Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. Yeah, exactly. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Only just noticed that Undyne gave Monster Kid a black eye. She did? Oh my god, you're right! Ooh, what's this castle over there? That's cool. Hey, little monster kid, what's up? What's that? What's up? Oh, nice, Monster Max. It's always nice when, like, your faves play your games. Return the umbrella? Yeah. Let's put it back. There you go. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Okay. Thanks, kid. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Kid, I am concerned about you face planting so much. I feel like you're getting brain damage. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top. It fills you with determination. Save. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Mm. Oh shit! Fuck! Shit 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 shit! No!
Shit, shit, shit. Ah, oh, shit. No. No, I have to go this way. Fuck. Fuck me. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, fuck. No, leave me alone. Did they have you alone? Leave me alone! Take a fortifying sip of tea. Mm. <sighs> mm. Two fortifying sips of tea. Ah, oh, and just run as fast as I can. Jesus Christ, Undyne, you are kind of evil for this. Shit, 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 shit. Let me out. Oh no! Shit, 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 shit. Hello? I did it! Oh god, I got through. Into the abyss. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Tabs, huh? That's a nice name. Thank you. My name is... Huh... Piles of garbage, there are quite a few brands you recognize. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Dave! Piles of garbage. 
Okay. A bicycle! You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> Is that supposed to be despairing? That sounds like a slide whistle. A beat-up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Yes. You got the astronaut food. Nice. I actually really like astronaut ice cream. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. What? Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Okay, Mr. Training Dummy. <gasps> no! <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until... You came along. When you talked to them, they thought that they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Oh, Jesus. Mad dummy blocks the white. Oh my God, brother, your torso is made of teeth. Hey man, let's talk about it. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Oh. No! Oh, fuck. Oh, no, ow. Hey, man. Mad dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. It's stitching? Why is Duolingo teaching me how to talk about people's feet? Duolingo knows what's up. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Whoa, boy. Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Oh, I see. Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic! Mad Dummy's looking nervous. Hey, man. Let's talk. Doesn't seem much for conversation. Well, I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Okay. Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. Attack 30 defense, yes, because their ghost's physical attacks will fail. Haha. -ha. Is this your arm? Yes. Just, you know. You lost an arm. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Oh. Bossing around its bullets, I see. Let's talk, dummy. Then everything I want will be mine! Ow. 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 Jesus. Doing an armless ska dance. <laughs> hey man, let's talk about this dance of yours. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Brother. Ouch. Getting caught in all over the dialogue box? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey bro, is that cotton ethically sourced? What was their name again? You can't even remember your own... Brother? Uh... Hello? You can't even remember your cousin's name. Whatever, whatever, whatever! God, my dude.
Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! My dude, are you okay? Where are your arms? Where are his arms? <laughs> it does fit the dummy fight. <laughs> pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Ouch. Whoa, ow. Uh, give me... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Nice cream? Your HP was maxed out. Fuck, I should have not done that. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Hey man. What's up? Futile, futile, futile! Okay, up. Ah. Come on, mad dummy. Futile, futile, futile! Okay. Hey guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical whirs fill the room. Brother, what the fuck are you made of? Dummy bot's magic missile! Shit. Oh! I can't believe I did that! I can't believe I did that! Mad dummy is hopping mad. Dummy bots, try again! Okay. Oh, ouch. Okay, so I have to lead them in a little... Whatchamacallit? A little loop to loop. Your bullet health skills are increasing. They are. I'm doing it. I'm playing the game. Oof. <laughs> I wish Undertale increased my dummy bots. Fight. Oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck! No! Oh no! Ah, oh, I was so close. Screams. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, f me, man. Sure, let's beat him up. You tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. <laughs> so does this change things? <laughs> Dummy's big mad. Fool! You think you can hurt me? Okay, it changes nothing. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Slimes are about 2% air and sometimes it comes out. And this guy just wants to fight, man. It changed the dialogue a little, yeah, but I still have to fight him. I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until you came along. <laughs> the Joker. <laughs> Always. <laughs> what, what's, the, what's the joke? <laughs> the Joker always takes a piss. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul right out of your body. God, he's so angry. Brother. 
Let's just sit here and check him. Futile! 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 Oh, shoot. Ow. Ha. Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic! I love this music! I'll defeat you and take your soul! Hey, mans. Ow. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier! Uh, use an item. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Use a unicycle. There we go. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Congrats. Then everything I want will be mine. The Joker always gets a turn. Yeah? I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Oh, you... I can't believe you can't even remember your cousin's fucking name, man. Okay, hey, mad dummy. Whatever, whatever, whatever! <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. No! Feeble, feeble, feeble! Oh, nice. Okay. Let me use more bicycle. Futile, futile, futile! Oof. Hey guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> Now you'll see my true power, relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical. <laughs> Almost read that as maniacal. Mad dummy. Let's. Dummy bots. Magic missile. Oof, ow. Oh, damn. Okay, so I need to. That needs to be tighter. Dummy bots, try again! Oof. Shit! Ow! Fuck you, man! Dummy bots, you're awful? Shit. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Okay, uh... Do I have any... Cinnabon? Okay. Dummy bots! Final attack! Okay, good. Okay. Ow. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, good. No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! Shit. I'm... out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me, and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever. Forever. Forever! Ah. Ooh, what the heck is this? Ugh, acid 
rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Jesus Christ. <gasps> Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no. You guys looked like you were having fun. Napstabluke! Napstabluke, my old friend! Oh no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm gonna head home now. Oh, um... Feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Oh, Blookie, come back! Hey, my house is up here, in case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Oh. You feel a calming tranquility, you're filled with determination. Save. I absolutely want to go visit your house, Napsabluke. Let's see. Yeah! Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Hey, Napsabluke. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Nice! Play it? Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Oh, I love wave music. Let's play it. Oh, that's so sick. What the fuck? Let's see. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yeah, let's try it. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. <laughs> it's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yes. Okay. Follow my lead. Nice. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So... Only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Let's just sit here and listen to the spook wave for a minute. Oh! Hello. The prophecy is true. <laughs> oh my god. This scene is my phone wallpaper right now. Brother, that is a great wallpaper. Holy shit. Why is the- why is the TV gone? The TV is gone. But everything else is still here. All the other items are still here. Disassociation! <laughs> God, that's so true. That's so right. I can see all of the galaxies in the universe. This is like, I'm waiting for like the Star Wars text to like scroll upward. No TV in the astral plane. <laughs> and then if I move, it just slowly comes back. Well, that was nice. Thank you. I want to see. You still need to recover after all that lying down. up man oh 
I'm going to keep working on that mix CD. Play it? No. This CD is labeled Gula Day Music. Play it? Heck yeah! What? Computer's internet browser is opening to a music sharing forum. The spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. What is this music? I think this is the worst one. I don't know what's happening here, like, sonically speaking. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Okay. Okay. What about this one? I want to see what he says about this one. Yes. I think this is the best one, actually. Oh, a classic spook tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Cool, man. It's locked. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff, like, down here. Hello? Is this Undyne's house? Doesn't seem like anyone's home. What? 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 It's a living. Okay. Okay, man. I'm not judging you. I'm just I'm worried. <gasps> the duck! This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? No, thank you. I don't want to have to go all the way back. I think I got everything over there already. North, Blue Acres, East, Hotland. Tammy Village? Oh, okay, so that looks like progression. Oh, hey, Bluke! Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. I see. Hello, snails. This snail is counting dollar bills. Nice. I've been long overdue for a second house. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snaileth Sam Buell. That's supposed to be, like, a Lord of the Rings reference, like Samwise Gamgee. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder but what it tastes like. Listen, I've had escargot, it's fine. It's just a another vehicle for, like, butter and garlic. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's Tenji to play. Let's play! Okay. Press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey! Hey! Brother! My dude, why are you- What is happening? Go! Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. No! Did I kill the snail? Oh. Let's try that again. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? <laughs> you made it!
Oh, so if I yell at her, then she doesn't win. But like, does she win at all? Is it possible for her to win? Oh, God, she's gonna lose either way. You can win? Oh. Race end. Oh, you both tried your best. But the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Okay, so I... Can win. I should a friend do it. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay. Press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Yes. One. Okay. You can do it! I think it is going faster now, actually. Come on, man. You can do it! Go, 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 go! I think it's gaining on the blue snail! <gasps> I think it's doing it! I think it's doing it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! You can do it! You can do it! Oh god, it's not gonna win though! Damn! Oh, you both tried your best. The snail looks discouraged, so I didn't encourage it enough? I was real close though! Oh, okay, no more, no more. I've wasted enough gold. I'm such a little gold hoarder. It was good to see you, Bluke. Okay. You see, oh, I only have those items, damn. Ooh there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Let's see. Heals 18 HP, looks like a crab. CT. Heals 10 HP, speed up in battle. Ooh! Armor 50, 5 DF, minus 2 DF, invincible longer. And I don't want a weapon. Let's get a crab apple and a CT and the cloudy glasses. Be careful out there, kid. Oh wait, I wanted I wanted to talk to you. Hang on. If she loses but feels like she won, how the heck do you manage to do that? What does it say up there? Let's talk. Anything you want to know? I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Uh-huh. Ask me about that emblem. What emblem? I don't know. Eh? You don't know what it, what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune. Oh, like Delta Rune, the sequel. I see. I see. The emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. What? <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say, old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Emblem's meaning? That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangles symbolize us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Fucking tell me about the prophecy, Jesus! Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, people have been tight taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the Angel of Death, a harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. 
Tell me about the king. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Huh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. I see, so I am supposed to backtrack. Undyne? Yeah, she's the local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. Might just save your hide. <laughs> Cool. Bye. Be careful out there, kid. I will do my best. Let's see, what is down here? Uh, nothing. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic, magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Ooh. Let me take another sip of tea. Are the flowers singing at me? But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Mm. My mint. Ooh. Let's light the way. Oh, hello. <gasps> Special enemy Temi appears here to beat you. Temi, check. Temi, rated 10 out of 10. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Hoi, I'm Temi. Oh, Jesus Christ. Temi vibrates intensely. Uh, Let's feed Temi flakes. Temi only wants the tiny flakes. No! So hunger! Dies! Temi forgot her other attack! Oh my god. Let's talk! You say hello to Temi. Hoi! I'm Temi! Ah, oh, fuck! I died! Fuck! Temi! Temi! Why would you do this to me? You cannot give up just yet. Tabs! Stay determined! I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. The person Temmie is inspired by streams now and I keep hearing the dialogue in her voice. It's wonderful. Oh my god. Let's see, do I still have my items? I don't! Heck. That's a boy. Crab apple, sea tree, sea tea, and glasses. I'm gonna eat dry lucky charms for the third time. Oh my god. You okay there, man? Oh, hey, hang on, let me look at the glasses. Uh, wait, hang on. My stats... My defense is seven. Experience zero. I'm still level one. I haven't gained any experience. Isn't Temi a self-insert of Toby Fox? Okay, I've read all of these.
No, Tim worked on the game. Ah, I see. I like this music. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up saying that a lot. I like this music. <gasps> okay, Temmy, uh let's what happens if I flex at Temmy? No! Muscles are not cute! Oh, I have to disagree. No! Just the two of us, huh? Okay, I see how it is. Ow, what did I do that for? All right, Aaron. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> Bye. Temmy is a self-insert of Temmy. 60 gold, nice! Huh. How do I get there? Oh, I gotta go the other way now. I see. I'm pretty sure it was Toby's idea. Or an inside joke from the dev team? Okay. Oh! Mold small! Bye! Mold small is very normal. Oh. Hey man, you okay? Mold small. Flirt. Wiggle. Oh, hello! Ow. Mold big. Gyrates reservedly. Mold big. One size greater than mold average. Chest wiggle. Ow. Mill's about in the corner. Uh, shoot, I need to use an item. Uh, like... <sighs> I'll just buy another crab apple, Jesus. Cool! Ow. Mold Big needs some distance. What if I unhug you? You don't hold mold big, it appreciates your respect of its boundaries. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Seems comfortable with your presence. Oh, good. Goodbye. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Oh. Guys, I don't feel like fighting right now. up here. It's over here. Wait, how the heck do I find my way around? Okay, nothing there. No, okay, so... Oh! Sorry guys, I don't feel like fighting right now. Oh, I can't flee?
I'm doing Geno next. I can't see. I'm not gonna do Geno next. I'm gonna do normal. <gasps> I will stay determined. I will stay determined. Let's buy like two crab apples. And two CTs. Oh, hang on, I'm not buying them. I kept hitting shift instead of enter. Oh dear. What is a torn notebook? Weapon. Yeah, I don't want that. Fun stream to do a death counter too? Oh my god. Zack, please. Use the box. Yes. Let's see if I can't... Uh, let me put... Nice cream... Oh. Use the box. Yes. Use the box. Yes! Ice cream, a crab apple, and CT in there. Oh, and clouded glasses. Why don't I pull these three things out and see if I can't sell them? So, ha! I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Oh, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Tammy Village is your best bet. I see. Where is it? I don't remember. Okay. You're using shift and enter? Yes, I am. Yes, I'll use the box. And then, let's see. Info. Armor defense 6 increases INV by 9. After you get hurt by an attack, you stay invulnerable for longer. ZX and C, but whatever floats your boat. Uh. I forget. <laughs> mm, you know what? I think I will do that. Hang on. Item. Use. You equip the glasses. I think I'm going to go, like, save. You're filled with the determination. I think I'm gonna actually end it here, and then, um... Words. Pick this up next week. It's almost at my usual two-hour mark, so... Yeah, I know. I know. I don't want to, but I get the feeling that the next, uh... part is really... like, oh, whoops, that is the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> Horrible portal to hell. Yeah, I get the feeling that the next the next part is a whoa. Uh gonna be real long. So I think I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and talk with you guys for a little while. Gosh. So there's a whole bunch of stuff about souls in this game. But I can't help but wonder, like. Because I get the feeling that there's a lot of like metaphor and symbolism. I don't always pick up on symbolism, to be honest. I like I have a hard time with it. I have a hard time picking out like in stories and things. Um, like X is a symbol for Y and, and that kind of a thing. Unless it's like really, really obvious, you know what I mean? Um, like anything anything with white wings is meant to be angelic in some form, right? And then what whatever they do with that, that's commentary on that symbol, right? Um, but I really, I want to know what monsters are XP's for. Are they just XP's for people and then humans are XP's for like what we would consider to be a monster? It's not, I don't entirely think it's symbolism here. You're not supposed to have all the information. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, with, with symbols, you're, hmm. 
like like symbols are, are sort of one of those things that are foreshadowed i guess is a, is a good way of putting it because like you sometimes encounter symbols um like particularly uh symbols that are made in universe and you don't have all the answers at first like you're supposed to learn about them over time um it's just cute human monsters story hmm i don't know if i believe you <laughs> i don't know if i believe you there's like there's so much lore is the thing right a big part of under of undertale is discovering the symbols as you go yeah 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 i mean that's yeah that's <laughs> that's how a lot of stories go <laughs> oh oh my hands my little non-existent hands got big shocks as I went on. Oh my god. Oh, now I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm, I know I'm gonna have to f probably fight Undyne at some point. I think if I'm, rem if I'm remembering correctly, I'm gonna have to fight her at some point. Yanks you in with cute, gets you invested, and takes off the gloves. No, I want to keep my gloves on. My gloves help me. My gloves make my hands not hurt. My hands have been better. Um, they were kind of aching last week. Oh, particularly my right one. I don't know what I did. I think I pulled something in the tendons, and now it's being a pain. But it feels better. Haven't I found I found my compression gloves, and so I'm doing a lot better. Yeah, it is what it is. So the dialogue you've already seen has big lore, but you can't tell unless you know a lot more. Mm. So, like, I get the impression that you don't fully understand the game unless you play all three routes, right? Like, you have to play pacifist and play normal and do geno. Yeah, that's what I thought. Miss it a big optional hint? Fuck. <laughs> I'll have to get that on my normal run through. Because, like, I know geno is, like, really different from the other two runs. Like, it, it opens up, like, a lot of other, like, areas, and it's, like, both shorter and longer because you have that big stands fight at the end. Unfortunately, I'm, like, very spoiled for Geno. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. What am I playing at the end? I'm playing, so on Friday, total tone shift here, I'm playing something called Arctico on Friday, which I am very excited to play. Uh, I have been kind of wanting to play it for like a year now almost i found it like way back in the day on steam and i was like hmm i don't have the money to buy this right now but maybe someday i'm also like one of those people who does not buy games unless they're really on sale like really really on sale <laughs> or they're like super cheap i'm such a cheapskate the slime is like i'm going to pretend i have no money <laughs> So, Arctico is a sort of uh, immersive, like, very chill, exploring game in the Arctic. And you're supposed to, like, build your base and, like, find your way around and gather materials. It's one of those games. And I really like those games, so I'm really excited to play Arctico tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow, Friday. Now that I have a job, I can buy finally buy games. Oh my god! Oh my god! Buy your games, Monster Max. Buy them. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and pressure you into spending money. Buy games. Buy things that makes you happy. Buy things that you're gonna spend a lot of time on and that you're gonna, you know, look back on fondly. Of course, you don't always know that until you buy it and play it. Time to purchase every FNAF game. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, I am. I know that I'm probably gonna end up playing it at some point, but I'm so scared to play FNAF. Guys, you don't understand. I get jump scared by walls. If I like turn around and there's a wall in front of me, my brain goes, <laughs> and I jump like three feet in the air. <laughs> I don't want to play FNAF. <laughs> that series is why I'm afraid of the dark. That too. I already sleep with the lights on. Like, I'm such a fucking scaredy cat i've been slowly weaning myself off of my little lamp that i use to sleep because it's i think it's making my sleep worse but 
I end up playing FNAF. I'm scared I'll have to turn it back on to Max again. I've been obsessed with FNAF for years, but I barely played the games because they spooked me so bad. Oh, yeah. That's the thing about horror. Like, I love horror as a genre. I think it's fascinating. I think you can do some really cool stuff with it. Like, a lot of the best stories will talk about, like, anxieties that we have as people. But horror takes it to a whole other level because there that's the whole point is to make you scared And it, the best way to do that is to prey on things that you're already scared of To use things that already make you feel afraid and just like amp them up to the max and explore that that's so cool to me Unfortunately, it is also very effective <laughs> My partner likes sleep ambience slash lo-fi to sleep with. Yeah, I've been doing that too. I've been listening to a lot of like rain and thunder sounds. Oh, I'm, I'm just slightly scared because I listen to it with my headphones on and uh, my headphones have really ass battery life. So I have like this tiny little audio cable that I've been sleeping with. <laughs> Most things don't affect me, but video game horror is awful. Like I started playing Minecraft, not in peaceful. Oh God. Fun story, the first time I ever played Minecraft, it gave me nightmares. <laughs> I had nightmares about the zombies later that week. <laughs> it scared me that bad. Brother, the creepers don't actually bother me that much. Like, they kind of, they jump scare you, but they're not... The zombies scare me more. I don't know what it is. The zombies scare me more. I don't mind creepers all that much. Like, they're fucking annoying, but I don't mind them. Uh, spiders, I will just kill. But the zombies, I don't know what it is but the zombies! They always get me when I don't need them. Yeah. Yeah. I think what it is, is that with creepers, you have like a split second to react, and either you get out or you die, right? With spiders... I don't know. I don't know what it's with spiders. Like, spiders just don't bother me, I guess. But zombies, you see them coming, and they come at you slowly. And they will just keep following you. And something about that is terrifying. <laughs> Maybe it's some, like, part of my little slime lizard brain. It's kind of like, like, you know how humans are persistence predators? Zombies are just like the slow-mo version of that, so it just takes longer. <laughs> Their visual range is huge. Oh, that's true. Australia spiders suck ass. I think, Zach, you may be the last person to know that. <laughs> no, you're right, though. Australia spiders, they sound like fucking evil. Like, we have brown recluses here. Um... But that's like the only bad spider that we have in, the, in in my area. One of the reasons I don't want to go to Australia. Even the boring spiders have stronger webs than US spiders? What? What? No, that's not on. That is not okay. <laughs> there is something very wrong with Australia. <laughs> I've actually been bit by a brown recluse and still have a scar like 10 years later. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, that's one of my biggest fears, is being bitten by something like a brown recluse and just, like, fucking dying. They're the ones who will fight snakes. You know what? If they're fighting the snakes, then I they're distracted and I can walk away. Like, that's a terrifying power. But if they're actively fighting a snake, I will just leave. I will just be like, you guys enjoy that? I'm going to go this way? Uh, bye. <laughs> Try to drown some on Cleo's patio and all they need to do is just make one strand of silk and they just fly around on that one strand and not drown. Australia. I would like to petition you to just murder all of your arachnids. Please. I know it would be an ecological disaster, but that is not, that's not okay. That's just not okay. Honestly, creatures should not have eight legs. Except for scorpions. Scorpions are fine, I don't care about scorpions. I literally could not care less about scorpions. Most people don't have bad re reaction to brown recluse fights. Oh, so is it like, some people are just especially sensitive and that's why people die from them? 
Hmm. Interesting. I was bit once, saw the bite when it was fresh, popped it, cleaned it, and was completely fine. Oh, okay. So you just have to know what you're looking for. I'll have to Google that and see what a brown recluse bite looks like. Or maybe not. Maybe I will, like, look at WebMD and be like, brown recluse bite and not use Google Images. Hi, Karin! How are you? Thank you for the raid! Thank you, thank you. How was stream? How was your stream? Don't look at Google. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've learned that the hard way. I've learned that the real hard way. <laughs> it will show really bad images. Yeah. God, why is the internet like this? Why does the internet like its, like, horrible gore? Are you ending? I am ending. I'm so sorry, Akari. I'm gonna raid somebody else, though. I'm probably gonna raid... Oh. Who should we raid, chat? Who is live right now? Um... Hmm. No one I know is live. Mina's live? Is she? Mina? I don't see her in the list. I'm late, I got distracted. I will watch VOD. <laughs> You're so valid. I'll make sure the VODs are live. Let's see here. Mina, are you live? Where are you? There you are. Everyone, let's go watch Mina Min play Tears of the Kingdom. Ooh, that sounds fun. You guys ready? You guys ready to go watch the Zeldas? I think I'm ready to go watch the Zeldas. I hope you guys have a nice time with Minamin. Raid train, raid train, raid train, let's go! You are so welcome for-